I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. Uncle Craig of Two Old Guys here. Today we're going to look at the Duffer to Mod Pack itself. In another video we showed how to get started on our server using our Mod Pack. Here we're going to just look at the uh, the overall Mod Pack, go through the list of mods that are there, um, talk just briefly about what they're for. Uh, most all are quality of life mods and then there's other videos here in the playlist you can go to for uh, kind of to see them used. Uh, here. Uh, talk about them, uh, anything we've noticed um, in play on our server for you to be aware of, how we've implemented it, what it, what we do with it there on the server. So let's get started here. Uh, we, uh, on all of our servers, we usually put mods on and design them and configure them, structure them for a specific spirit of the game. And I talk about that often. We want to maintain that spirit and it really takes everybody who's participating on the server to maintain that spirit. And it is basically this, that we're there to experience all the things related to that game, how it's designed, and the progression. We don't want our time on that server to rob other people of that fun, that progression through the game that it was designed for. So we ask everyone on to support that. That said, we're old guys. <laughs> we like convenience and quality of life to a point. We don't want it to the quality of life to take away uh, the aspects of the game that make it a, a struggle, a reasonable struggle. Uh, and so uh, those are the types of mods we put in and how we utilize them. We're careful not to leverage them beyond that. We use Thunderstore for our mods uh, and so I'm going to open Thunderstore. If you haven't opened this before, I think I mentioned it in another video, you'll want to uh, create a profile, uh, select a game, of course Valheim, and uh, Steam is the platform I'm on. You might be on Xbox. And then you may need to create a profile. We recommend calling it Two Old Guys uh, for the server that we that you're putting this together for our server. And then you'll want to go into the downloads or in the uh, Get Mods section, I guess, here. Search for two old guys, I think. Yep, there you got that the mod pack that way. Or if you search for Dufferdom, uh, if you spell it correctly. And this is our mod pack. And then you want to uh, install that. Uh, click it and then click download. And you'll want to download with dependencies. Of course, I'm not going to do that. We're on version 0 .0 0.0.6 right now. I consider it still kind of in beta uh, because we're still working the kinks out but we always will be <laughs> so it may turn out like uh, Google Gmail might be in beta for for many many years when it's installed what it's going to do is installed a list of mods in fact I should probably show that here um, let's go back here Dufferdom I'm gonna open this up and we'll go to the website mm -hmm. pull this into its own window here. So out of the Dufferdom uh, mod pack page you'll see the list of all the mods that are part of it. So we have smooth brain uh, server characters and that's so that your uh, character details are actually maintained on the server as opposed to just on your local machine. This keeps people from going over to another server, piling on a bunch of inventory and then dragging it over or developing their character up to the highest level and then popping into our server for the first time. This somewhat enforces them starting from scratch. As a mat logo changer and that's how we get our logo, our two old man logo here uh, on the opening screen to Valheim for you. So make that unique and that way you'll always know if you are starting your game with our mod pack too if that is there then you have the ever popular as a mat as you QOL quality of life mods and we'll look more deeply at that here in a moment so our mod pack includes a mod pack which includes a lot of quality of life mods there 
Then we have some by another mod author we enjoy, Tasty Chicken Legs. And for that we've got Automatic Fuel, which automatically pulls uh, fuel to different um, uh, crafting items uh, or uh, tools. Uh, you get your cook pots and things like that, uh, smelters, kilns, uh, torches, fire, uh, uh, campfires, things like that. So that's been a, a helpful mod. Honey Please. Uh, which takes the honey production and when the honey uh, beehives get full it automatically drops it into a nearby chest. Um, another thing that, that somewhat would do a similar thing is that if the hives dropped it on the ground our chest mod would also um, pick up the um, uh, honey as well. But uh, Honey Please does that. Automatic fermenters and so again as soon as the fermenting is complete it will drop uh, the potions and meads into uh, the nearby chests. And then Azimat, auto, uh, as you Crafty Boxes and I think this is also part of as you QOL. So you may see this go away from this list here but I believe it's part of uh, as you QOL. And on that note, let's go there. So in here we've got plant everything, and uh, we really enjoy that mod um, to be able to plant all sorts of stuff. But again, we want to keep with the spirit of the game. So uh, if you do use that one, don't go overboard. Uh, AAA crafting, uh, which gives you a number you can put in how many of something you want crafted rather than clicking the craft craft button repeatedly and all the bases which allows you to change the base values for most everything in the game we don't use that feature so I think this one may even be turned off on our server as use area repair which allows you to to click once and repair an, an area instead of just specific blocks or items on your in your build auto store this is uh, what takes items from nearby uh, containers or puts items from nearby containers either by dropping them on the floor or by pressing period so you walk up to the boxes that have certain items in them press period and it automatically takes it out of your inventory uh, and into the boxes I believe this, and we'll look at this later to, to find out for sure, but I believe this is also the, the one that allows you to pull items from containers for specific things you want to build. So very handy mod. I use it quite often. As you clock, of course, uh, it allows you to modify the game time uh, displayed. Uh, as you container sizes, so you can change the size of, we can change the size and have changed the size of some things, uh, some containers on the on the server. We haven't changed it very much, but just enough. Uh, as you crafty boxes allows you to craft from boxes and containers that are in the in your uh, building, in your structure, or that you're standing nearby. Uh, player inventory we can extend, we did just slightly, and you can modify how that all works. Hover stats is a handy one too that allows you to point your cursor at something, get a little more information than you usually would from the game. Map details, this one I'm not sure if we are leveraging completely or whether I'm reading the details very well, so I'm probably going to be learning about that one as I uh, show it to you, share it with you guys. Uh, odd and end patches, I don't know if we'll actually look at that one in detail, but that one's part of it. As you signs allows us on the server to change how the signs uh, look and feel, and again, we haven't fiddled with that one too much yet, and may not. Uh, skills tweaks we don't mess with at all. Um, wear and tear patches he put in, and then uh, now and workbench tweaks, we don't mess with those too much. Uh, sign component fix. Uh, so these are all kind of uh, based on, it sounds like, keeping the mod pack uh, up to date and healthy. Fastlink we use quite often, and that makes it so you can set up a the server details, and instead of going through the whole login process, just have it automatically get you logged in to your server and get started playing. Uh, max player count, which I have not messed with yet. Uh, Bepinex configuration manager. We of course have not touched at all. We don't. We try not to fiddle too much with the 
uh, core vanilla game um, configuration unless it just makes sense to do so. Uh, QME maybe is is uh, where you can switch between weapons during a battle. Uh, it it doesn't it doesn't switch in a way that keeps you from getting uh, injured <laughs> during the transition, but it does queue up that uh, weapon switch, which is helpful. Uh, recipe descriptions those those are expanded a bit. Um, Switcheroo. Uh, this is switching while you're running. Um, this uh, blocks Valheim Plus, and that actually has been beneficial. I was didn't like that at first, but I do now very much appreciate that. Uh, X-ray vision, of course, is for admins only. Um, of course, the Bevan X uh, Valheim Pack uh, did the Roots Dungeon Room, so we can change uh, how uh, aspects of the dungeon generation. Um, inventory discard. Oh, this is so you can delete items out of your inventory. It's very handy. It's important to know how that works. And then this is again support for modding the the Jotun or Jotun uh, tool. So that is uh, as you QOL and all the other mods that we use on our server. And uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hope to see you on the on the server soon. Like, subscriber, get off my lawn.